Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danon, will deliver a brief statement ahead of this afternoon's Security Council. He will take your questions afterwards. If you are called to ask a question, please remember to state your name and your news outlet. Thank you. Good afternoon. I came here today to speak about the Palestinian Authority and their poor choice to embrace terror and violence rather than condemn it. I will elaborate about the PA poor, weak, incompetent leadership when we have the discussion later on in the Security Council. Regarding uh, Lebanon, at this stage, I cannot give any specific comments regarding the attack in Lebanon. However, as the Prime Minister said in the General Assembly today, we will take all necessary actions to achieve our aim of returning our civilians to their homes in the north. True to that word, the Israel Defense Forces conducted a precise attack on Hezbollah's central headquarters, once the, core, once the core of its terror operations, not anymore. They intentionally built under residential buildings in Beirut. Hezbollah, they are cowards. They use the Lebanese civilians as human shields to deter retaliation. Since October 8, Hezbollah has continuously attacked Israel with drones, rockets, and missiles. Despite nearly a year of Israeli warning to the world, nothing changed. Now, as any sovereign nation would, Israel is taking necessary steps to protect its people and ensure that Israeli families can live in peace and security free from the shadow of terror. Israel will continue to act decisively. We will not sit and wait for death to knock at our doors. What happened on October 7 will never happen again. No, we will rise, we will strike, and we will hunt down those who plot against us. We have sent a clear message to every terrorist leader and every organization bent on our destruction. Israel will not wait for terror to come to our doorstep. We will come to them first, and we will eliminate them. Thank you. Ambassador, Ambassador it's Pamela Falk <clears throat> from U.S. News and World Report. Can you tell us anything about the, 20, the proposal for a 21-day ceasefire? The Prime Minister did not mention it. Is it still on the table? And is there anything about the, uh, the Lebanon uh, bombing that you can tell us who was in the building? Thank you. First, we appreciate the, the efforts of those who are trying diplomacy. As we said earlier, if we can achieve the goals of the war through diplomacy, we prefer that. And the goals are to allow the citizens of Israel, 70,000 refugees, to move back to their homes and to push Hezbollah from the southern Lebanon area according to Resolution 1701. If there will be a similar agreement or proposal, we will accept it. And uh, your que second question, Pamela? Fill us in on any details of what no, no, who I, might I, have I, been I, in the building. I, at, at this stage, I can say only that. It was a meeting of bad people. Bad people coming together, plotting another attack against Israel. So we made sure they will not be able to do it anymore. Ambassador? Margaret from Voice of America, you've been saying the last couple of days that you have evidence that Hezbollah was planning an October 7th style attack against Israel. Could you elaborate on that? Because you, you, you've given us no details. Thank you. Well, I, I cannot give you all the details, but I, I would say that. You know, we, we know that the Radwan forces of Hezbollah uh, were plotting and practicing to have similar attacks, entering uh, the northern communities in Israel, kidnapping Israelis. Uh, and it's very similar. And actually, I think they were caught by surprise also by the attack of Hamas, because they were talking about it, they were practicing it, and we have evidence for that. But Hamas, unfortunately, caught us by surprise, uh, but we have that information of their ideas to commit similar crimes uh, that would involve kidnapping Israelis from Israel into Lebanon. Ambassador, Ambassador, this is Gabriel Ozondo from Al Jazeera English over here. Ambassador, thank you. Gabriel Ozondo from Al Jazeera English, yeah. thank you for the question. Thank you for the 
Um, were you targeting Hasran Nasrallah? Well, when I said that it was a meeting of bad actors, Nasrallah is a bad actor. He's a terrorist. He has the, the blood on his hands for uh, many Americans, thousands of Israelis. So I, I think he should uh, be punished for that. Uh, I, don't, I cannot confirm now whether he was in that meeting or not, but when I speak about bad actors, he's one of them. Yes. Ambassador, uh, CCTV, just one quick question. Do you have any update on the second phase of the polio uh, campaign in Gaza? Will Israel uh, agree to do that? We, we are moving ahead. We are working very closely with WHO and UNICEF. Uh, I think it's a good example of cooperation between UN agencies that want to deal with professional projects and not advocacy against Israel, like UNRWA Gaza, for example. We will continue uh, to work between, uh, and collaborate between COGAT and those uh, NGOs in order to complete this project. What about UNRWA? UNRWA. I, I mentioned earlier, UNRWA, they are busier more in uh, bashing Israel and inciting against Israel rather than supporting humanitarian uh, efforts in Gaza. Good. There's no place in Iran that Israel cannot reach. The Biden administration has been saying for months that they don't want this to escalate into other parts of the region. The question is, is Israel comfortable hitting anywhere in Iran without getting help from the United States? No, so I, I think the Prime Minister said it differently. He said, if we will be attacked, we will strike back. That is the equation he put very directly. Uh, we have no intention to start an attack, but if somebody will attack us, we have the capabilities, we have the technology to attack back, and we have proved it in the past. We'll take maybe one last question, because I know the minister. Yes, please. Ambassador Stefano Vaccara, Ital Press, La Voce in New York. Ambassador, uh, are you at war with Lebanon? Are you, de are you going to declare war to, to this country? You are bombing I its capital. Usually, I mean, when, somebody, when a country bombs the capital of another country, is at war. So le le let's start with the facts. October 8th, while we were still counting the bodies and we were fighting Hamas terrorists in the south and collecting the, the leftover of entire families, Hezbollah, which is part of the Lebanese government, which is in control of southern Lebanon, started to launch rockets and missiles against Israel. Unprovoked attack. They are the one who started, and they are uncon yes, it was unprovoked attack on October 8th. We had no conflict with Lebanon. Hezbollah decided to show solidarity with Hamas, and Nasrallah said it himself, and since then, almost a year now, they are sending rockets, drones against Israel. So we retaliate. So I think that question should be asked. I don't know if you can ask anything in Lebanon today, but I, I call to the Lebanese people to speak up and to pressure Hezbollah and not allow Hezbollah to drag Lebanon to another war against Israel. And Thank you, you very much.